I'm Kyle Kors, the owner of Ink Masters in Waxahachie, and this is my History in Motion. I was always into art. I've been drawing since I was a little kid. What inspired me the most is I was raised by my grandma and she was a painter. So throughout my house, we had her paintings of where she came from. She's from Germany. So I was always inspired just growing up in the home that I grew up in. I dropped out of high school when I was a freshman. I just knew school wasn't for me at that point. And I wanted to do something that I couldn't learn in school. I wanted to learn a trade with my hands. I wanted to learn a skill. And I knew just working white collar, blue collar job force wasn't for me. So I actually wanted to learn a trade that nobody could ever take away from me. I was already into art, I was already into drawing, painting, all that, so tattooing just went hand in hand with all that. I started off in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I ended my apprenticeship. I went in to get a job somewhere as a tattoo artist and my portfolio wasn't good enough. So I worked out of my house for nothing until I built a portfolio strong enough to walk into a shop and get a job. Around the artist that I was around, I started to get real stagnant. I couldn't grow as an artist because I wasn't around artists that could help me grow. So I knew that, I knew how to get out of New Mexico if I was gonna be something more than what I was. So I ended up coming up here to Dallas. I worked in Deep Ellum. There I really learned a lot. I learned how to grow as a tattoo artist. I learned how to manage a shop. I learned how to separate business from friendship and I got motivated. I wanted to do better. And I ended up moving here to Waxahachie. But when I moved here, I was expecting to find a good tattoo shop and just go there and just put out good work. But I didn't like anything that I really saw in the area. So I ended up opening my own private studio here in downtown Waxahachie. When the word got out, people started seeing my work and we just Grew from there. And while I was here, a good friend of mine, Chapman, came into my shop one day and said, hey, I'm a part of the Ink Masters tour. You should come. And at first I was like, I don't know about that, man. I don't know if I'm good enough to compete. You know, I've already been tattooing for 16 years and never been to a convention before. So I didn't know if I was good enough. And he just told me, come on, let's go see what you got. So I went to my first convention, entered a piece and won a trophy. It motivated me to do better from there. I wanted to see what I can do. Started going to more and more conventions. And then I got an invite from the owner of Ink Masters himself to go to Alaska at the last minute and I thought it was super cool so I, me and my wife packed our bags and went and I've been going to Ink Master shows ever since. As far as the quality of the, the products that we're using nowadays, I remember using inks back in the day and they would tend to have a lot of reactions. Reds would have a lot of reactions. People uh, rejecting ink. The fallout rate was high. You couldn't really saturate the skin well with it. It was just the quality of the ink back then compared to now is there's a huge dramatic difference. The ink I use now is called industry ink and it's the number one ink on the market in my opinion. I think it's the best quality pigment that you can get and it's super easy to work with. It goes into the skin like nothing and I never have people coming back saying hey all this color fell out of my tattoo what's going on. The rewards of tattooing are um, it definitely outweighs the all the sacrifices. Certain times you can you can uh, do things to change people's lives. You know you're covering up scars, covering up old tattoos, maybe mistakes that they made in the past and they come to you to get that done and and it is a rewarding thing. It also It's also rewarding as an artist that we get to do cool stuff every day. People come in and trust you with their body and, and it's a forever thing. It's a huge compliment when you pick an artist and say, hey, I want you to do something cool on me. Being so young, like I had, I was married by the time I was 19, I already had a kid, I was already into tattooing, but being a couple of years in, I wasn't making good money. Um, I was having to work other jobs full time and tattoo along with that to help support my family. But I just never gave up on tattooing. I always made sure that that was my number one priority. No matter what, at the end, I was gonna support my family. You know, like I said, I wanted to learn a skill with my hands. I wanted to learn a trade, and I didn't want to depend on going to work in an office to feed my family. So I wanted to make sure that no, more, no matter where I ended up, I could move to any place, any country, any part of this world, and be able to make a living off of my own talent. Every tattoo artist wants to pass on the knowledge. So they want to find somebody that wants to earn it the way they've earned it. Especially old school tattoo artists don't just want to see anybody handed the craft. Like they don't want to see anybody just giving it like on a silver platter, like here you go, here's everything you need. Like we need to see people earn it and actually love tattooing and, and want to be in it forever. Because when you're just giving something, you don't appreciate it. So we want the people that we're teaching to actually appreciate it and do something with it, you know, because they're a reflection on us. And a really cool thing is I actually got to teach my little sister how to tattoo. And she's actually become very successful tattooing as well. I think that was something pretty cool that I got to do myself. It was a part of my accomplishments is being able to pass down the knowledge to my little sister. <laughs>